Okay, so, welcome. Oop. That doesn't grab very good, does it? Do, do, do. Come on, come on, come on. So, I am Mark Matthews, and this is my class here, right in the center of the known glass universe, Hot Shop A, at the Corning Museum of Glass in Corning, New York. And I'm fusing some canes together that we're going to use to make a stripe ribbon. They're just about warm enough to stick. We've got this glory hole running fairly cool, tepid. It won't stick to death. So this is my workshop called um, Color and Graphic Systems in Glass. And we're making filigrana cane through the submersion process today. We're going to shove these into a hot cup full of molten glass right in the center. Ready, no longer required. I'm going to shove them pretty good. I'm going to shove them better. I'm going to shove them better. This needs to be about two and three quarters of an inch across. Yeah, get the uh, yeah, get the tape measure. It's right there. It started out about three. Patty cake, patty cake. Set it up there. Yeah. Need to squish just a little more. There. Got it? Good. Not that's the size. Okay. Oh, 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 I did not set the caliber. The next thing to do is to make a plunger. This is our our platform that will center the Just make sure it's stable. Stable, stable, stable.
try to make this just about the size of the opening in the top of the cup. Check this. On the, on the one that's, yeah, yeah. Three quarter. Uh, pretty hard. Yeah, you can, you can, you can turn, turn it pretty soon. We're just idling. We're idling that. So I'm gonna let this cool off and stabilize it. That little ridge there on the face is where I'm gonna pick up the ribbon. But I want this to generally be fairly cold and stiff and just be hot. Where I'm gonna stick the striped ribbon assemblage. So, over here, have some, some canes that have kind of the anatomy of what we're going to make. Here's a striped ribbon. You can see the flat and that the, um, the stripes radiate out from the center figure, just the way this is. Did turn it? Good. Good. And when we come to this up, we'll probably, you'll be like right yeah, like right on the edge there, which is still stable. Yeah, and you'll push this way with the uh, tags. Okay. Oh, that's nice. We'll give it a give it. See if I can 
find a, um, I don't have hardly any ribbons like this. Here's a, here's a large, pure white ribbon of this kind of anatomy here. Alrighty. I pick up the ribbon cane assemblage and make sure it's straight on here. The construction of this will be fairly expedient. Preheating just the area that will stick the assemblage here. Ready? Set it down over there. So slide it over the edge a little bit with the tag. So it comes out about a half an inch. Yeah, out over the edge. And now Stay there on that side, Chad, because then you, you're, you're gonna you're gonna hold it while I push. Slide out just a little bit more. Okay. Stabilize this thing so it's stiffly stuck. And it's centered. Huh. Looks pretty good. Check our clearance with the cup. This is the cold cup. Ugh, spaz attack here. It's all right. Okay, get the get the hot cup. Hot cup. Hot cup. Hot cup. We've got our 
cup we're going to actually use preheated to 750 degrees, which will help. You burn that off? Burn it off good? Make sure it's not, uh, not smoldering at all. Get, get, get that burned off. We keep oil on the ladle so that it doesn't rot when we're not using it. And Chad's going to make sure that's completely burned off. <laughs> but the nice thing, they get schmutz. 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 Keine schmutz. Still smoking? Now quench it. Quench it? Quench it, yeah, so. Yeah, quench it again. Good. Now. Now, get it. Get it very close. Really dump it fast. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, cut. Very close. Yeah, that, yeah. Get out of the way. Yeah. Torch. No, don't, don't do anything with that yet. That's, that's looking good. Okay. Okay. Stop. And then. Uh, oop. Now. I shoved it all up on there. Just shove, shove it right up on there. Anything that's there. Okay. Get over here. Okay. Come over here. Okay. Now turn. Just turn. Turn, shove a little more. That, that little flip there. There we go. Ta da! <laughs> Looks nice and clean. Now. The trick is to stabilize this thing and get it ready to pull into a cane. That thing I inserted has very little mass, so it's pretty squirmy at this point. Take a while to get it stabilized and run out a little bit on the right temperature to pull. Go team, go. This is gonna take quite a little bit over here. I'm fiddling. All straightened out. Got to even out the heat first. Kind of fun, huh? <laughs> came, out like a charm. came out like a charm. Yeah, it's coming out better since um, Michael sanded it after it stuck that one time. Bubbles between the canes. We'll chase those back toward the moil. They'll end up in the scrap. Hopefully.
chase those bubbles back. Back, 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 back. I gotta get a little bit longer. I wish those bubbles were closer to the hilt, but they're not, so that's how they are. <laughs> that's a good meat here, though. Yeah, good meat. The ladle right? Yeah, pretty good. I just got a, a few tiny little bit. Eh, it's easier to ladle into the tilted cup, like pouring a beer into a tilted glass, you know? Yeah, you just go, <laughs> hits the bottom, straight down. I'd like to get this all in one pull. ready for the air treatment. Not quite. It looks pretty nice and centered. That center part looks like it's standing pretty still, that center cane. What we want. Okay, let's start with a little air this time. Okay. Okay, so be above it, above it and hang right into the valley. Yeah, keep the angle exactly like that. And what you want to do is this pattern so you go right to about here and you go to the tip each time. See that, see that pattern there? You go, you go start deep and then go to the tip and then to the tip. We keep, we keep repeating that exact pattern. Concentrate, concentrate. Always pointing away because I'm trying to get it pivoting from the back and sort of hard nose. back to it right about here, but hover above so that we're not, yeah, so I won't get you. Yeah, yeah, that's a good good altitude. 
We'll just keep doing it until it feels right, and then we'll whip it out. the tip each time so that way the tip will automatically get colder than the rest and so then repeat come on it's just starting to move right just starting yeah there when you do the long. A couple more, a couple more. Chad, open the open the side door. The, the door, the far door. Yeah, there we go. Then we won't have to worry about the door. Okay, just a couple more. We'll do it just next time. Get the air over there, good. Come on, get, 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 get. Just get it, get it, get it, get it. And wait till it get gonna do. Maybe he's holding on to it just a little bit. Okay, stop. Stop. Now pull some. A little air right, right there. Just a little bit. Yeah. A little further away. Pan, pan, pan. There. No, no, wait, stop slower, Chad. Over here, yeah. Right in there, right in there, right in there. Right in here, right in there. Yeah, right in there. Okay, now pull some. Oh, really watch your angle there. Stop, stop with the air. Now pull, pull. Not too bad. I want to break. Oh, break. That's why we want these one pull. One bowl. I straighten it out. See, we'll, uh, yeah, well, that's. Uh, uh, I put that, you know, put that thing in. I don't like to get that on the wood. I don't want it. Yeah, yeah, put it away. Yes, yes, yes. 
Okay. Uh, we'll let that section sit out. And we can see what color it is. Okay, there's number one. Now. Uh. Aha. So that's what, what, let's do this, this, this thing's okay, in the way here. Pieces. Now we're not going to go for um, somewhere else. We need to eat it. And now we're going to do tilt a whirl. <laughs> yes. Okay. Put that in position, and then, and then, yeah. And then, Go the other way, the other way. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. You gotta dump all that junk off of there. Just right here. All right, line. Yeah. Here, get your ladle and sure you're in the right position there. So this next cane is going to be a, um, a variation on a late um, 18th century gauze cane, uh, double double gauze. And so I've got some over here that have this kind of cane. This object here has a double gauze now. In the antique things, they're usually the same size, but this is kind of a modern thing to have one big and one small. Each one has 32 stripes. We have parts ready for this in the um, top-loading pickup oven. Here's a much larger example of the same thing. So there are two cylinders. One is an inch in diameter, and the other one is, I believe, um, inch and five-eighths. And they're sitting at 1025, waiting for a pickup for submersion. You ready? Here, put that, put that flat. You gotta, you gotta take, you gotta take the whole thing off. Yeah, there's two of Now the, 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 the tilting of the cup is a, is a radical feature, and what it does is easier to submerge an asymmetric feature. <sighs> there we go. So because the one cylinder is much larger in diameter than the other, if the cup was straight, the glass would come flying out of the one side. But because the cup is tilted, the glass is in there, and we insert the heavy section to the low side of the cup, and then the glass just comes and fills the void on the high side. Make another plunger here. Let's um while I'm waiting for this just a little bit, let's let's, let's look in this oven. We can see the setup here. Well, wait, wait just a second. Wait. Come over here now. Now it's right, it's right here. You'll see two little cylinders. There. See them? There they are. They are ready. Oh, okay. We don't want to get too cold. It will crack. It will get very mad. Very mad. There's a lot of blisters in this, but this is going to be scrap. Chad, I think you should rake before the next one because there's a lot of blisters. This is this is scrap. Yeah, rake before we do it. Yeah, it is. Is that from the oil? 
Uh, who knows? Who knows? Ned got upset for some reason. Yeah. Just have to get it the right size here. Spin it out a little bit. Oh, you can close the um, close that door for now. So this is the Corning Museum of Glass, and they have the most comprehensive glass collection on the planet. And over across the parking lot in the study room, there's a whole case of Jacobite sherry and port glasses, very small capacity, with what they call color twist stems. And these gauze formats were all developed about that time. Yeah. Yes. Here, just, 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 just turn this. And so, um, so it's a very versatile technique. The submersion enabled the development of, of, of most of these are submersion. This is a submersion pattern with a columnar feature with a ribbon on each side. This is one with a rectangular cross-section 32-stripe element with a, a ribbon on either side shoved down in. This is an elliptical section with a stripe with a cane on each side. And this is the format we just made. So a number of years ago, I was in the museum and I had a, um, uh, a museum uh, map and a quarter and a pen. And I, I looked at this case and I drew all these little circles in the, on the margins of the map and put little dots and dashes indicating the cross section of where all the canes and ribbons were. Now these kinds of canes were um, never used in vessels because I suspect they were kind of precious the way they are now. Get this a little bit colder. It's always getting the coldest right here. And of course, if it gets below a thousand degrees, it'll just fly apart. So um, have, a, have them change, uh, have, a, have a lady, have her change the sign. Have a... Getting all stable. features are so much more massive than the ribbon I just made that it will require a lot more fiddling around to get the temperature equalized. Starting to heat just the face where I'm going to stick the submersion items.
Each one of these has 32 stripes. They're made of a very special white called Duro. And a thousandth of an inch filament of it embedded in clear can be seen. Now just recently, in the last decade or so, there's been Duro available on the market. And there hadn't been any, any Duro since the mid-19th century. Okay. down to um, whatever our idling was before after I picked this up. We're up a little bit above annealing so we can hopefully accomplish this without any cracks. Get this stuck a little bit and stabilized. Have the cold mild steel cup back in position. Check the relationship of this in that void. Starting to stiffen up. Let's see where we're at here. Tilt the world! Tilt the world! Uh, we're a little tight on the one side. Still warming up to adjust a little bit. I need 5 eighths of an inch clearance on the cup. Changed it a little bit. Looks pretty good. <sighs> Just about ready. Now this one we're not going to fill it quite so far because we're inserting such a massive amount. We'll leave a little bit at the top. Maybe an inch. Within an inch of the lip. Okay. Well, it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll, it'll be pretty much up on the beach side, but. More is better than less, as far as, because we can, we can always deal with that big overflow. Shove it up there. Yeah, a little room to grow.
Okay, get 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 the hot cup. Hot cup. Hot cup. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, get it. Up this way just a little bit, that way a little bit. Okay, you know, go up, up, up a little bit. So sheer, 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 sheer. There we go. Ah, perfect, perfect. A little much. Wait, wait, wait until we're in there. Stop. Okay, now wait, wait, wait. Uh, now wait. This is gonna be a lot. Okay, shove it all up on there. Just a real aggressive. All up there. Just all the way up there. Get, get me off of here. I cut there, get in there. Okay, now I'll get on the floor. Okay, step a little more. <clears throat> Reverse. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. Come on. Uh, there we go. Ha ha ha. What happened there? How do we, uh, oh, we got a little bit stuck there. Fairly clean, crazy looking moil. We'll straighten that all out. I know I was I was still I had something I, I haven't quite aggressively shoved up there enough. I have a bit drooled down on it. I pulled down a little butt blister. It's pretty good though. Yeah. Just, the rake helped out. Just, yeah. Oh, that helped definitely. Definitely. You have to really take my time so that those cold features warm up before we pull. One, yeah, one large bubble. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, there's not that much differential in volume with this, but we still have an excess on the one side. With the um, Saturn cane, it has a ribbon instead of this small tubular feature. The uh, tilt works just about perfect on that. I drew down one little bubble there. Hmm. So if I don't really take my time and this whole thing does not equalize in temperature, then I'll end up having that fresh hot glass pull off of there and I'll lose this crazy relationship. Try to be a little cooler at the tip 
than I was last time. The last one pulled fairly well. Just about enough to start elongating. have a little bubble between the two. I'm chasing it back toward the moil now. I'm going to gradually begin some elongation. Making a longer taper. It's a little bit of a messy process compared to some, some other cane building methods are much more predictable. This is a little risky. But the results are so bizarre and unexpected. <laughs> I'm willing to put up with a little uncertainty. all that scrap at the end, something to grab onto before we get to the filet. Fiddle dee, fiddle dee, fiddle dee dee. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. It was 
well as could be expected for a rogue. <laughs> Pretty weird, doesn't it? Something, yeah, something from something from the reef. <laughs> ah, just a little bit longer before we start the air treatment. Gonna pull this hard nose to highway. Yeah, go ahead, Chad, open that left door. Yeah. Wait just a little bit. One more. One more so you get a little bit longer as I gotta pull on here. I'd like to get three foot of this that matches nicely. That would be ideal. Yeah, make sure you go all the way to the tip. Maybe hesitate at the tip just a fuzz before you before you come back. Okay, start, yeah. Coming right about there. So interesting, that last one pulled. I started pulling off here a little bit, but we can set that and then we can continue twisting that thick, thick, thick section while it pulls out. Yeah, okay, okay. it could be a little bit better. It was pretty, I'm happy it wasn't a disaster. <laughs> yeah. yeah one, that one pull is perfect for this size of a thing. It's what you really want between a thumb and an index finger. Don't change your angle. Keep, keep it so that you know, like this. Keep, keep it parallel. Okay, here we go. More, more, more. Come on, come on, come on. be in the way. <laughs> shorter, shorter, shorter. Long and then shorter, shorter, shorter. Long and then shorter, shorter, shorter. <laughs> you have to keep kind of a mantra. Tilt the world! <laughs> That's wild looking, isn't it? <laughs> Just starting up. Two more, two more. Mm. 
One more. One more packing, and then we'll heat and do it. Here we go. Here we go. See what it's going to do. Pull, pull, pull. A little slower pull. A little slower. Yeah, a little bit right there in the first foot and a half. Don't, 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 don't touch it where his uh, tool is anymore. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right there. Right. There. Okay, go. Pull. Stop. 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 Stop it there. Stop. Pull. Yeah. Pull. Yeah. Stop it there. It, it'll make it'll make it not kind of. Go. 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 Try to get the last little bit. <laughs> go, go. Oh, don't break. Uh, a little bit more. A little bit of a taper the whole way. Hey. Straighten it out. Yeah, well, you're going to put that away. And it's no good. No good part off. Okay. All right. <laughs> Unbelievable. You've seen Tilt a Whirl now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>